Hey everyone, it's Mario. Are you having problems with your air fryer that your bin is disconnecting from your basket when you lift it up? Well, it's an easy fix, it's free, and it'll get you back up and running with little aggravation. And I'm here to show you how, so stick around. So this is a GoWise air fryer, uh, but there are many similar air fryers that have the same type of system. I think the Power XL, the buttons may be the same, but basically when you pull this out of the air fryer, um, sometimes the basket, I've read, people say, oh, it just disconnects and it falls. And what I found was there was a problem with the handle. And when I went on the website, you could buy just the handle for $8. You could buy the basket for $11. And if I if I want to buy both, I can't for the black model, but for the white model, I could get both for 18, and it makes more sense. And when I called GoWise, they're like, "Well, that's a kind of like a, an item. It's only guaranteed for 30 days. It's kind of an expendable item," and that just seems really poor. So let me show you what I did to fix mine, and maybe you have the same issue, and it's really quick and easy. So first thing you want to do is disconnect your basket. Now, if you look right here, there's a little gap where I'm pointing the screwdriver. When you lift it up and there's no weight in the basket, you're fine. But as soon as there's some weight in the basket, maybe you're pulling out some food, that tends to separate. And when that separates, these little teeth here disconnect. So let me show you a fix for this. Now, if you look, there's two screws in the basket. And if you turn it around, you are going to see uh, just a cap screw. And there's a cap screw under this rubber bumper here. So you need to take out those two screws. And really all you need is a screwdriver. Now I found when I first took mine apart, I couldn't loosen the top screw because the nut kept spinning behind. So I moved on to the bottom one first and I held on to the rubber cap and I was able to disconnect it. Don't lose the parts folks. Now we'll take out the top one. And again, worst case scenario, you need to get a pair of pliers. And there's a second one. So here's the handle, nothing fancy. And if you look at this handle, you're gonna see something, some screws here. You got this bottom screw here, an identical one on the other side. And then you see four metal screws that hold on this, I'll call it this metal band. Now I found that this screw was a little loose in mine, so I tightened it. This one was fine, but as I flicked it, I found the gap still showed up. So it made sense to me what was going on is there's a screw behind here that holds the plastic. So I already fixed mine, but I'm gonna go through and show you anyway. You need to take out the four screws. And again, I think the power XL fire is similar. The button assembly might be different. But, you know, a lot of these, they're made by one company with some variations. You know, they're all knockoffs of each other. Now, I've taken off the four screws, and if you see this screw right here, this was really loose on mine. I just give it a little snug. You don't want to go too hard on this. This is plastic. It will strip out on you. You just want to make sure they're snug. Now, eventually, the, you're going to have no choice. You're going to have to replace this, because it's just plastic behind here, and it will eventually strip out on you. Um, but for now, this is the fix. You may be able to, you know, if you have uh, some epoxy laying around, you could probably build up the material beforehand. But if you look, there's no gap right now. And I can bend this right now, and you don't see a gap. However, if I loosen this screw like I had it before, you'll see that gap is there. And that's what was causing my pan to disconnect when I lifted up when there was any weight. Because when you have weight, the basket would twist this. So now I'm just gonna put this back together. Again, all with the standard Phillips screwdriver. Not standard Phillips, right? Can't say that. Just with a regular Phillips screwdriver. Just use a good screwdriver. You don't want to use a screwdriver that's too small and you end up stripping the head of the screw. Again, it's plastic. Do not tighten the screws too much. I don't think Loctite or anything like that would do you any good. Um, you could, I guess, if you have it. I have some, but I'm not going to bother. You would never want to use the red Loctite. Or the one that's called red I think they're all a blue color anyway but red is a permanent you never want to remove it again with the blue is removable with a little effort 
And now we just need to reattach the basket. Just gonna hook this in here. Now, one thing I did notice when I took mine apart, there was these, I don't even wanna call them washers because they don't appear to be washers. It almost looks like broken threads from the back of the screw. Um, and it, to me, it doesn't appear there were any here, but these two were stuck together. So I'm not putting them back on. I have no idea what they're from. They just kind of appeared on the countertop when I pulled it apart. So maybe someone will see that and will add to what I already found. So just pop the screw in. Now I want you to look at something here. There's two different length screws. The shorter screw needs to go up top. And the easiest way not to screw that up is to just keep the nut and the screw together when you take it apart. And remember, this metal cap one goes on the top. And the reason for that is the bottom one has the rubber bumper, which is supposed to keep the air fryer basket the top basket from uh, hitting the bottom pan and as you can see here here's the rubber cap and the screw now that top one is spinning on me a little bit so I'm gonna grab it with a pair of pliers just snug it up not much now you look at this right here now you look at this and I'm bending that handle you see zero separation now so again when you would lift this up with something full that would separate your little tangs back here would separate and the pan would just fall off. I've never ever had this fall off on me until last week. I'm gonna give you another little tip. If you notice, I got a couple of wear marks here. When I first got this, uh, the pan was hitting it when there was weight. So what I really had to do was grab this and kind of bend it back so the pan would kind of sit a little bit higher. Sorry, the basket would sit a little bit higher. But now, this is as good as new, and I expect it to be problem free. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. It did surely help me out. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. Uh, it gives me the motivation I need to keep making videos and uh, helping everyone else out who have helped me as well. We'll see you on the next one.